Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mythical, everyone's favourite YouTuber. And today I'm going to be talking about the YouTuber I'm Alex. If you don't know who I'm Alex is, I'm Alex is a commentary YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers. And recently there's been some allegations going around of him abusing his ex-girlfriend. And these allegations against I'm Alex had turned out to be real. But before we start the video, everyone watching this video right now is not subscribed to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel right now and turn on all notifications on so you stay notified when I upload a video. Video. Well anyways, let's get right into this wholesome video. Alright, so I'm Alex's ex-girlfriend has came out with her story about Alex abusing her. And with that, she dropped a whole lot of evidence against I'm Alex, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks really bad on Alex. There's so many screenshots and recordings to prove that I'm Alex did abuse her. And today we're gonna take a little look at that evidence. Of course, we're not gonna look at every single bit of evidence, because there's a lot of screenshots and these recordings are quite long. So basically, we're gonna look at the evidence what I think is most important. Well anyways, let's get right into it buddy Okay, so the first thing we're going to be looking at is the document, because it's important to look at it first because it does add some context. Trigger warning, mentions of sexual assault, suicide, depression, and assault. This is a sensitive subject for me, as I struggle to figure out how to put it into words, I have been threatened by Alex to not come out with anything at all and to keep quiet, or he will create a contradicting story to discredit my own, but I'm not scared anymore. No matter what is said in response to the statement, I I know I've said my piece and can move on with my life. I made this document as a compilation of my experiences while being with Alex and have put screenshots of these accounts under the corresponding paragraphs. This will be a long one as I want to start from the beginning so you understand the full story and heavy burden this has been on me. We had known each other for years before we interacted and were seeing each other for a few months before anything was official. We started officially dating on March 17th 2023, giving each other 100% of our attention, time and effort with no arguments. After that, time passed and small things became huge issues which were over discord at first. Alex felt that because I am home all day and work from home that I would be able to call 24-7 and completely shut out any other social interactions I have with friends. To avoid that, I invited him into my groups and stopped working as much. These small arguments worsened to the point where he would turn on his camera and start shouting at me on call. He has gone as far to tell me to self-harm at this point after I told him about my history prior. This would be accompanied with horrible messages calling me a whore, a bitch and slimy. He would also tell me that I caused arguments as an excuse for me to leave him saying I don't know how I ended up with someone like you. There is a lot more in the document but I'm not going to read it all because we'll be here all day but I will link the main tweet where it links to the document so if you care enough to read it, then you can go there. But there's more evidence against I'm Alex, and these bits of evidence are actually recordings. One of the clips is literally I'm Alex saying that he's gonna bash his ex's head into the wall with a brick. I don't know, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Just do the normal route, which is just do the normal route, but a normal girlfriend. Yeah, acting like oh, this I didn't, is I didn't all just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. Wow, just imagine threatening violence on someone who you loved. That's a little wild, don't you think? Also, why would you say this with your camera on? You're just asking for trouble. But hey man, at least we have a new meme clip. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick. Real? Why well, now, nah, Alex, you're cooked. You're cooked. But there's more clips to show. Even this one I got right here. Thing about you, and this is the thing, this is why I fucking go round and round in circles. I Join call, and I'm getting you're talking to me. Going, this is the thing. Even though now, now when it's too fucking late, you admit that you did everything fucking wrong. But when it actually matters, when you should lay down like a good fucking dog, you don't fucking do it. You fight for some reason. I don't know why you fight because you're losing. 
Because you end up admitting that you fucked it all up anyway. Like a good fucking dog. My guy, calm down, buddy, old pal. And once again, he has his camera on. Like, why are you doing this to yourself? Even getting into a VC with your ex-girlfriend and saying this shit is a recipe for disaster. You have destroyed your own career. You are over. You are done. You got very lucky to keep a career after the whole Slazo thing when you falsely accused your own friend. But bro, you're finished now. You got caught being abusive to your ex-girlfriend. Like, I don't see how your career is going to continue after this. Like, pack your bags, my guy. You're done. It's also really funny as well because you are the type of guy to preach about being a good person and morals and shit. But it turns out that you're also abusive. It seems like someone has some skeletons in their closet. There was so much for you to do to avoid all of this, but nah. You just wanted to go for it. But it is what it is, I guess. But to put the final nail in for I'm Alex, let's have a little react to an audio I have about I'm Alex coming to the realization that he was in the wrong. At the end of the day, the only thing that's important is that I didn't listen to you. You were right. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. I was impossible to work with. I didn't make it easy. Um, I constantly thought inwards about myself and not about you and what was going on. Um, I didn't make any attempts to change. I didn't make any attempts to fix my life. I made excuses. Hey, he actually admitted that he was wrong. And because of that, that means he can't really say that the allegations are fake anymore. Because there's now audio of him admitting that he fucked up. Even his own YouTube friends are now against him because they saw the allegations. So if I'm Alex wanted to come back, well then he will come back to a horrible reputation and nobody to back him up. At this point, I would just quit if I was you, Alex. I would just get out of there right now. And the best bit is, is that there's still more audio recordings of I'm Alex still crying crying about this whole thing. Like he was literally crying in the audio. You can hear him crying and it's actually really funny to see. I understand, really. Whatever happens, like I'm not gonna hold anything against you. Like it's not your fault. I don't hold any of it against you. I don't hold anything. I understand, like I do. And uh, I'm sorry for crying. I just that uh, you know, when I start, I don't open up ever because I have kind of shot all of this stuff down for so long. Like, I hadn't cried in forever. You know, the only time I ever cried is when I apologised to you. And that was because I realised kind of how much I'd fucked stuff up. And, you know, seeing you hurt is just the worst. We are smoking that. I'm Alex back tonight, baby. There is zero sympathy coming from me. And if you feel a little bit of sympathy, don't. This guy has abused his partner. This guy is a bad guy and he's uh, not someone who you should respect. And who knows, he could be trying to manipulate people by fake crying. But who knows, that's just a guess on my part. Anyways, that's everything I wanted to show today. The rest of the evidence would be in the pinned comments. And I highly recommend that you do check it out yourself so you can come to your own conclusion. Any Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel right now and turn on all notifications on so you stay notified when I upload a video. And also, make sure you leave a like on the video as well. That is appreciated. Also, make sure you follow my other social media accounts, join my Discord server, and buy some of the merch all in the description. And yeah, I think that's everything. So I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.